Hello, welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Something I found in a thrift store and it's a work of art which inspired me to create another work of art. I'll show you more in a moment. One of the things I like to do is to visit antique shops and thrift stores because I look up old art of course not really to find any investment, but I'm really looking at the old frames. Most of the time the art is some old print or something that's really of no value. But you may occasionally find a beautiful wooden frame. And in this case I found a lovely oak frame and had a look at the print in the picture and thought that's actually quite a charming painting. And I did a bit of research and we found that the artist was a man called William Hyams, an English artist. Anyway, cut a long story short, I'm going to just show you the painting and how it inspired me to try my own version with oil paints. So let's jump in. Well, here's the painting that caught my eye in the thrift store. I first noticed the nice wooden frame and then saw the signature and had a closer look. These lovely little figures really caught my eye and I noticed the painting was really of a high quality. Well unfortunately just a print but I took a closer look and uh, got this nasty looking cardboard out. You can see quite a bit of water damage on the back of the frame, so I wasn't expecting too much when I got all of this backing off. But uh, there was a stamp at the back confirming the Church on the Hill by W. Hyams. Unfortunately, no original signature, just uh, an ordinary print and quite badly damaged. Well, I really like the old painting and uh, I think it'll be a good idea to paint a reproduction of it. It's a pity it, the print is so damaged and faded. It would be really nice uh, framed up again. But uh, let's have a go with doing a reproduction of this in oil paints and it may look quite nice. And in any case, a good learning experience. Right, I've set up the palette here with my standard set of colors except for orange which I've added in just for convenience and using a panel I've sketched the composition out and I'm going to jump right in and start painting. So I just want to show you how I quickly go through this painting process. This really for my own fun it's not really a lesson in uh, how to paint but it may be inspirational to you or at least give you a few ideas. This painting was called the Church on the Hill and as mentioned painted by William Hyams in watercolor and uh, I'm having a go here with oil paints just to get a different perspective perhaps create a little texture and just uh, see how I interpret this. I really have no expectations of how the painting will turn out. I'm just going to put in a lot of paint, get some nice impasto going and try and do some justice to this really delightful painting by this uh, English artist. Now, I haven't been able to find out a lot about William Hyams except that he was born in 1878 and passed away in 1952. He was born in Portsmouth and studied at the Brighton School of Art in England. He was known for his marine subjects painting uh, ships at, at sea and yachts. He also exhibited at the Royal Academy and painted mainly scenes from Sussex he was also chairman of the Brighton Arts Club in 1947. I've been able to find a few of his other paintings 
advertised in uh, various online galleries. And original paintings of his seem to range between around about a thousand to two thousand pounds. So not a fortune, but still I find his paintings very charming in that uh, traditional English genre of landscape painting. And I certainly would be very happy to have one of his original works. Thank you. 
I have to say I really enjoyed this exercise. It was a lot of fun painting this. I took all the pressure off and expectations. It's not a subject I'm familiar with. So I just had some fun putting paint on and hopefully the result does some justice to the masterly work of uh, William Hyams. Well, I hope that inspired you to go out and look for your own work of art. Maybe find something that inspires you and paint your own reproduction. You can learn a lot from the experience and it's fun to do. So enjoy your search for your next little masterpiece. And until next time, cheers for now. Mm -hmm.